Now, come on, let's be honest, there's nothing quite like a delicious chicken sandwich, but it's even better when it's a healthy, quick, delicious sandwich full of crunch. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the crunchiest chicken slider laced with an incredible Korean fermented chili sauce in just 10 minutes. Oscar, young man, pan down, pan down, pan down. So, come on, we recognize these. These are corn flakes. And that is what's gonna give this sandwich an amazing, delicious crunch. Uh, light, rich brioche buns, uh, cucumber, lettuce, and some fresh limes. Chicken breasts, uh, beautiful mayonnaise, and this beauty here, take a look at it. Now, it is the most amazing fermented Korean chili paste. It is absolutely delicious. A little bit of fish sauce, we're gonna get a bit of a pickle in there to sit on top to give that nice acidity to the beautiful, healthy, crunchy, delicious sandwich. Please, let's have 10 minutes on the clock. Now, first off, to cook the chicken, it's a breast, so it needs to be well lined. Uh, there's no fat in there. When we've got a drum or a thigh, there's, there's fat and there's a lot of sort of texture in there. On a breast, it needs help, okay? So these are just beautiful breasts cut in half. Lightly season them, okay? Salt and pepper and a touch of chili flake on there, okay? And the breading for this is gonna be seasoned flour, eggs, and then we're gonna use that beautiful crunch of those amazing corn flakes. Now, give it that little whisk. Whisk that up. Don't season that in there. If you season the eggs in there, it turns them gray, okay? So, get the pan on, get that nice and hot. And let's start off with first putting the chicken in to the seasoned flour. Now, lightly seasoned, as you saw. I've got a little bit of chili on there as well, okay? And then from there, we shake off the excess flour and dip them into the eggs, okay? Really important. If we don't shake off that excess flour, then it sort of, it stays and lingers. And so when you cut through the chicken, you've got this white, uncooked flour, which is not very nice. Again, Literally, shake off the excess flour, and then from there, in we go. Now, for the exciting part. Let them sit there, okay, and cover them nicely, okay, like that. Now, traditionally you'd be using breadcrumbs, brioche crumbs, but cornflakes, it's amazing. So you want to sort of get down and just scrunch these up, almost to the sort of size of a panko crumb, okay? Now look, I'm going in there with my hands, and cornflakes, as you know, we all grew up with them, and they sort of were doused in milk, but to use them as a breading, the crispiness of this is incredible. And in America, they dredge their chicken two or three times to get that sort of crunch on there, but here, I'm just gonna dredge it once. And look, it's sort of it'll be broken down to a nice flake, Season, okay, a touch of salt, a little touch of pepper, and just a few little chili flakes in there. Hide them, okay? Now, mix that up. From there, lift up your chicken. Again, use your fingers. From there, up, shake off excess eggs, in, and then look, just cover that up very quickly. Next one, in, and Roll it round, cover it up. Next, in, cover it up, hide it. Next, in. I've got one breast cut into half, so I'm gonna use a sort of one breast per slider. One breast per burger. So, I've got each breast cut into half, and per burger, you only want to put half a breast in there, okay? Now, pan is starting to smoke. From there, get your vegetable oil. And we're gonna shallow fry these, okay? Make sure that pan's very dry. Not deep fry, but shallow fry. So about a centimetre of oil in there. Let that get up to temp. Before you start frying, always get your paper ready to bring out from the fryer and keep somewhere nice and close in order to drain off your breast. Now, from there, get your chicken. Okay, push it down inside. 
make sure they're coated beautifully. That helps to stop all your mixture from coming off. And look, my oil, let's test it first. In we go, and they're ready. Lay away from you for safety reasons. Okay, so you don't splash your hands with that hot fat. Shake off any excess, lay away, and look. So beautiful, push those core flakes on top again to make sure that you've got everything evenly coated. Shake off your excess, and in we go. Now, keep that gas up, okay? Again, down, shake off any excess, and in we go. We wanna get these nice and golden brown. Now, wash the hands. Now for the garnish, okay? Now, get your towel ready for when we literally take them out and let them drain. The garnish, we're gonna keep it sort of nice and light and simple, okay? Cute. Five minutes gone. Cucumber, top and tail. And we'll do ribbons of this cucumber, okay? So hold that nice and flat on the surface and just get rid of the skin. I don't mind the skin, I just don't want it in my sandwich. So I just go down along and look, that's the bit there. That's what I want, these beautiful ribbons, okay? Up. Up. Ribbons, okay? And it's almost like pappardelle of cucumber. They sit nice in the sandwich. And more importantly, you know, it's got this really nice flavor, okay? I don't want the seeds in there. The seeds turn the sandwich watery. Now, turn these over. Colour of those. Crisp. Beautiful. Lovely. Turn down the gas. Got the heat in the pan now. And that's going to be literally sort of two, two and a half minutes each side. Now, with the cucumber, get that into a bowl. Lightly season them, okay? A little touch of fish sauce over there, okay? And now I've got some beautiful chopped peanuts in a little bit of coriander, okay? Lightly chop that. It's a really nice, beautiful garnish. And just let that sit and sort of almost marinate. That's gonna give a really nice lift to the sandwich. Inside there, we've got a little bit of lettuce. Get your garnishes ready so when you start to put these burgers together, everything's there and seasoned, okay? After that, your spring onions. Again, cut on a bias, nice, across the angle and just open them up. If everything's ready, by the time your chicken is cooked, you just have to assemble them. So in we go. And then finally, get your lime and zest over all that and then lift it to the next level by squeezing that lime over there. Time please. So two and a half minutes to go. Fresh lime, fish sauce, delicious. You can see where we're going. Now for the sauce, okay? Mayonnaise, speed up, speed up. Mayonnaise and the fermented chili paste in. Be generous with it. From there, give that a really good mix up. Mmm. The flavor is incredible. Look at the color of it. Mmm. It's fermented. So it's got that really nice, authentic, Korean flavor, everything you want from an amazing, beautiful. Now, look how crunchy that is. I'm telling you, we'll turn the gas off, okay? Two minutes to each side. Turn that over. And they come out now, literally, but they're so crispy. Look, beautiful. That's why the breast is perfect for this particular slider. Oil goes off to the side. Now we start. The assembly. This is the most exciting thing about putting a beautiful slider together. Tops up there, bottoms down here. Tops up, bottoms here. First off, the lettuce. Bang, place the lettuce. A little dab of your sauce. Beautiful. Spring onions, spring onions. Cucumber. Cucumber. Crunch. Crunch. This is so good. Chicken on. 60 seconds to go. Chicken on. Sauce on. 
sauce on. Cucumber on. Man, this is so good. It smells incredible. Crunch. That sauce is so tasty. Dab, dab. 30 seconds to go. And then finally, get your lid on. And that goes there. And then this one goes there. And there we have two beautiful, incredible, crunchy chicken sliders. Done in 10 minutes. To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologize, but slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10 cookbook inspired by this series. And trust me, you're gonna come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.